The pressure switch turns the motor on and off at set pressures. The kit includes a new pressure switch with the rubber tubing already attached, a new crimp clamp to connect the tubing, and a new mounting screw. Over time, the pressure switch can fail, either electronically or due to corrosion. When the switch fails, the compressor might not turn on at the correct pressure or fail to shut off when it should. Replacing the pressure switch is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Soja. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. Before you begin any repairs on your air compressor, you'll want to be sure to drain the air from the tank. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the three screws that secure the pump head to the tank. Now remove the screws that secure the two halves of the pump housing. Now I'll remove the pump and motor assembly from the opposite housing. First I'll remove the grounding screw and the yellow wire. Now I can pull the assembly from the housing. On the opposite side of the motor, I'll remove the white wire. Now I'll remove the red pressure switch wire from the on-off switch. Now I'll remove the screw that secures the pressure switch to the housing. On the manifold, I'll remove the gauge shroud. The pressure switch tube is secured to the manifold with a crimping clamp. To remove it, I have to cut it away. Now I can pull the tubing away from the manifold. Now I can pull the pressure switch away from the housing. And now I'll install the new pressure switch. And secure it to the housing with the screw. Now I need to cut the pressure switch tubing to length. I've placed the housing on its mounting posts so I get the length right. I'll place the tubing onto the manifold and mark it against the nipple. Now I can cut it to length. Now I'll install the new crimp clamp that came with the kit over the rubber tubing. This will circumvent needing to remove the tubing from the nipple if you forget to. Now I'll crimp the clamp into place. The easiest way to crimp it is to use a pair of end nip pliers.
Now I'll reinstall the gauge shroud. And I'll reinstall the red wire from the pressure switch to the on-off switch. Now I can reinstall the motor and pump assembly into the housing. I'll reconnect the white wire. As I slide the pump back into the housing, I want to make sure that I align the isolators with the grooves in the housing. I also need to route the wires around the pump. I'll reconnect the yellow wire. and the ground wire. I'll make sure each of the wires are tucked out of the way so they won't rub against the fan or the armature. Now I can reinstall the other housing. I'll make sure the cord is aligned with the housing. And then I need to kind of shift the housing around until it aligns with the pump. There's an isolator on this back side that needs to fit into a pocket on the housing. Now I'll reinstall the screws that secure the two halves of the housing together. Now I'll re-secure the pump head to the tank. And that's all it takes to install a pressure switch assembly in your air compressor. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.